Hello everybody, uh, Katie here and I've got your next uh, tutorial in our series of 12 easy gifts that you can make. We've shared this one before in our newsletter. It is very simple and what's fantastic about it is uh, that you can use scraps. All you need is a piece that's about four inches square, three pieces that are four inches square and you're good to go. Uh, it's bookmark corners. I've done up uh, several of them here. So these ones are made with a four inch piece. This one is a little smaller, made with a three and a half inch piece. And you just pop them on the corner of the page and uh, and you're good to go. So really great little stocking stuffers, you know, make one if you're buying someone a book uh, as, as a Christmas gift, uh, a birthday gift, um, really helps personalize it. So to make this, what you will need is three squares. You can use um, all different ones. You can use uh, you can use two as your background and one as your as your corner. Um, these ones are cut to three and a half inches, so that would be this size. Um, and the four inch ones will be a little bit larger. And then you will need two pieces of interfacing cut to the same size as your square. So I've got one and then the second one, what you do is you cut it on the diagonal to make a triangle. Other tools you'll need, wonder clips, a point turner, a pair of snips, and it's handy to have uh, an iron. I've got my little Oliso iron with me today uh, that I'm going to use and a wool pressing mat. So to start, you're going to fuse the interfacing to the wrong side of your pieces. There we go. And then this one. And then with this piece, you're going to fold it in half so that the raw edges meet and you make this triangle. Now to sew these, you're going to lay the uninterfaced piece down the corner and you're going to make sure it's on the upper right hand side with the raw edges matched and then the interface piece on top of that. You can use wonder clips to keep everything together and you want to leave yourself about a one and a half inch hole to turn around on one of the sides where you only have two pieces of fabric so not where that corner is. And so you can sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. And don't forget to backstitch. So you've got your piece. It can be helpful to just clip your corners. That'll give you nice sharper points. And then we're going to turn this around. And then using the bamboo point turner, you can poke out your corners. And the way I like to use this is, you know, sort of flat and run it along the edge like this. And then come in with my iron right away to iron that edge down. And then you're gonna tuck your seam allowance in and top stitch at an eighth of an inch all the way around. Use your wonder clips to keep that seam together. And then we sew again. And that is it. Trim your strings, your ends, your tails. And 
ta-da, you've got a book corner. So, you know, we can go back to reading about Swedish socks and you'll never lose your place. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And leave us a comment. We love hearing from you.